<laughs> y'all. So, we got some sperm in to do. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, BDJ. And today, we're going to do some experimenting with some corn husk. Okay? All right. Description box. <laughs> Take a gander. Show more to see more. <laughs> uh, y'all. So, Rosemary, back in 2021, I'm pretty sure it's when it was, did uh, one of her caboodles, and I think it was the Egyptian one, and she used corn husk as a faux papyrus. Okay, link to her channel below. Any hooties. I, it made me think, because, you know, I rushed out and bought my uh, corn husk just like everybody else did. <laughs> and I got thinking about it. I thought, well, what could you use a corn husk for in our mixed media kind of world? <laughs> uh, so I wrote down some things. And here I am, spearminting. Okay. Now, when you're using corn husk to make tortillas, yummy. Okay. Anyway, you soak them in water so they'll become pliable so you can put your uh, your moss and meat mix and all that stuff in there so you can steam cook them. Okay. I'm not a, I'm not a tamale maker, but I am a tamale eater. So, any hoots? I thought, well, what else can you do? And I remembered back when I was, uh, you know, younger and Girl Scouts and we would make corn husk dolls. Well, we would soak them in water with a little bit of liquid dishwashing. Liquid dishwashing soap. Liquid for hand washing, y'all. Slow washing, <laughs> even. And I thought, well, you know, I, was just, I wonder what all you could do with that. So, where's my... Where's my paper? I actually wrote out. Hang on, let me put you on pause because you'll never know. Okay, so here's what I did. I did the same things with dry husk. Husk soaked in plain water. Dishwashing liquid with water. Mineral oil and water glycerin and water and then after I was playing with those I thought well let's just try fabric softener because what the hell y'all all right let me get back on task here pull my notes out because I got notes I made notes it was very scientific <laughs> uh, not really okay so stamping you know ink stamping with rubber stamp uh, with archival ink Collaging with a napkin. I did machine, machine slow, show, sewing. Oh, for heaven's sakes. I tried to weave it so I could glue it. And I die cut and I acrylic painted it. And then I let everything dry natural. Okay? Okay. So, let's see. Where's, where's my stuff where I talk about what I learned? Okay, I learned that corn husks are really not porous. Now, they will soften and absorb some water, okay? But, you know, if you think about it, they're designed to keep the corn protected as it's growing, okay? So, it's mostly not porous, all right? It will soften in water, but, all right, where's my other notes? Um, stamping on the dry was okay. The collage went well. The sewing, it kind of tried to split, but not really badly. And uh, where's my glue? Glue. Uh, I used original Aileen's original tacky glue, and I used Fabrifix. Okay, because it's a it's a fast grab glue. Anyway, the tacky glue did not grab very well at first, but it seemed to stay glue. The fabric fixed, it did not. Okay, it kind of grabbed, but it did not stay glue. And that was the main issue on almost everything. I don't know where I put my finishing. Anyway, the water stamping was bad, and I know y'all don't care about this. Well, we will just get to the one that worked it the best. Okay? 
The best one was the fabric softener, which actually surprised me. I didn't expect that at all, okay? It's stamped okay. Now, I, I don't advise stamping on it, y'all, because it took forever for this ink to dry. Stays on might have been better, but I don't have any, so I didn't do that. Um, also, I would advise if you're... Uh, okay, just oh, bless my heart, people. I am just all over the place. I'm going to get too much coffee. Not enough. Take your choice. Uh, to stamp on napkin or deli paper... And then to collage that on if you're going to choose to use corn husk in your art. These are dry corn husks, not green ones anyway. Okay. Also, I would advise that you dry it after it's been, you know, damp and it's now soft and pliable. You want to dry it because it will dry. And if you don't dry it under weight, it's going to curl all up and do, I don't know. I would say shrink, but it's not really going to shrink. But because it's not... It doesn't have the waters in it anymore. It kind of shrinks. <laughs> kind of shrinks. Okay. To dry it under weight. Okay. And I would protect that with baking parchment that has the silicone on it or a freezer paper. Okay. That's that's what I would do. So, anyways. <laughs> Don't weave it because that was just weird. And I was really disappointed in... Uh, well, the Fabrifix did not hold at all, which really surprised, I mean, it surprised me, y'all. Would other glues, I don't know, y'all can test it and do that if y'all want to, if you want to. Uh, the tacky glue did do the best, and uh, on one of the collages, let me see if I can find the notes where it says which one, It the collage, the napkin actually peeled back off of the um, off the corn husk most of it stuck just fine okay which one peeled off uh, collage stayed on that stayed on that um Oh, mineral oil? Don't even waste your mineral oil on doing that because that was off. Oh, that was the one it peeled off of. Of course it was because it's oil. Duh. Okay. All right. So. And it stayed oily even after it dried it. Don't, don't do that, y'all. The fabric softener was the best. All right. Let's see. Stamping was okay, but now mind you, you know, corn husk has got ridges on it, so it's a rough stamp. You're, that's why I say you're better off stamping on a paper or a deli or a napkin and then collaging that on. And I did use a uh, fluid matte medium to collage with. Maybe it's different with uh, other collaging glues, okay? Uh, I noticed when I sewed it with the sewing machine that uh, the tension in the bobbin was not that great uh, I'm not going to mess with the tension on my sewing machine just for corn husk so hand sewing slow sewing whatever you want to call it probably works just fine Okay. Uh, other glues may work fine I don't know Fabrifix did not stick on any of them okay did I mean it dried but you just give it just a littlest tug and it was coming loose uh, the tacky glue did stay uh, fairly stuck on most of it but even that you tug too hard and it's you know it's coming loose everything die cut just fine and have any issues die cutting but you, like I said you're going to want to dry it under weight the acrylic paint um, was a little picky with the dry husk uh, you know, because once it got damp, it curled up like, you know, vellum. Think of vellum, all right? And, yeah. So I painted both sides to make it lay flat. What else? This is a perfect, great, go nowhere video, y'all. <laughs> Experiment. And why am I even sharing it with you? I don't know, because I just, because I want to. That's why. 
because I want to. Maybe some of y'all will have a better idea. Or maybe you've actually done some corn husk experimenting yourself. Okay? Okay. Now, because it's a natural product, will it deteriorate over time? I don't know, because corn husk has some really sturdy stuff, y'all. It is. Really sturdy stuff. So, yeah. Oh, and um, the dry. The collage peeled off the dry one that was not pre-moist, pre-wetted. Okay? Anyway. <laughs> Let me know, y'all, if y'all do anything weird <laughs> with corn husk. Uh, yeah, no photo montage. Sort of. <laughs> Thanks for wasting time with me and watching. Happy Arting, y'all!